We're back again with another action packed edition of sports this morning, which you live from Channels Television Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. Thanks for joining in. My name is Austin Okonakwan. To our viewers in Benin, Abuja, and of course to you wherever you are in the world watching us right now. It could even be good night, it could be good evening, good afternoon. All the same, we welcome you be part of this action packed world of sport. What's going on in this ever blazing world? Of sport we'll kick off here in nigeria you know the super falcons are getting ready for that crucial second leg all africa games qualifiers against mali there is a new psychologist that will be working with the team that's the lady on your screen her name is kasha moto she's been appointed to work with the super falcons she also have roots with the same team in her playing days but yes yeah, she will be bringing the psychological balance help the players read games put their mind into the right use and of course that's a good one for football because sometimes it's just the psychological edge that is needed to win big games so that's it the super falcons getting the psychological balance the nff good job kasha moto is in charge of that one let's the super falcons touchdown the under 20 the under 23 team the dream team six herculean task it is for coach samson siasia and his team as they get ready to go to lusaka for the second leg of their all africa games qualifiers against zambia remember the first leg ended goalless in abuja strong words coming out of zambia um the coach thinking simukonda says it will be almost mission impossible for the nigerian team when both teams clash on Sunday in Lusaka. Herculean task for Coach Samson Siasia and his team. What can come out of that one? We'll get to know after Sunday. Still talking football, but now the English Premier League, the struggle continues for Aston Villa and QPR. Six goals scored last night. Christian Benteke uh, got a hat trick, but there was no winner. So Aston Villa. A little bit fortunate to be out of the drop zone, but at 16th on the table, not getting results means they're not far away from the uh, from the uh, relegation zone. So the struggle continues for Aston Villas and Q Queens Park Rangers in the English Premier League. We'll talk about that extensively on the program also this morning. Living football now, I love talking about this, and I'm sure you do also. May 2nd in Las Vegas, Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Manny Pacquiao will clash. We're looking for the best pound for pound box boxers. Arguably the biggest fight you see in this era, but we want you to keep talking about this fight. So let's get talking. What's in the news this morning? We've heard that um, Mayweather might be wearing a $25,000 mouth guard with diamonds. Diamonds, the money man spending all the money before that fight with Manny Pacquiao. And Manny Pacquiao getting ready on uh, day 12 of his road workouts. He met with fans. He did some light training with the fans. So he's trying to get the people behind him, rally all type of support before that kosher fight against Floyd Mayweather Jr. That's what we're talking about. So much coming out of the fight. We're waiting May 2nd in Las Vegas. What are you talking about? I want you to uh, get into the conversation. Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Manny Pacquiao. You think it's the biggest fight boxing we see? We'll get to know. Let's go on this quick break. When we'll come back, Tayo Salam will be joining me. We'll talk about all of this going down in your exciting world of sports. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Welcome back, sports. This morning on Channels Television, we're broadcasting live from our sports center in Lagos, Nigeria. So much to talk about this morning. I didn't tell you. Uh, let's just bring you that reminder that today, CAF will announce the host for the uh, 2017 African Cup of Nations. And of course, the Super Eagles, we know their opponents today. Uh, talking about the qualification series for that one. But then our attention today is on the Super Falcons. We'll also talk about the Dream Team 6. Do you think it's mission impossible for Coach Samson Siasia and his team when they touch down in Lusaka to play Zambia on Sunday? Remember? If the first leg ended, goalers are looking for a ticket to the All Africa Games. Second leg will be played on Sunday. We'll also talk about the Super Eagles, and yes, we'll talk about this new trend in the Super Falcons as a psychologist. What's going on with that? And of course, Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Manny Pacquiao. Do you want to be part of the program? Yes, you can on Twitter. What channels underscore sports verified Twitter handle? You can talk to us if you want to. You can also send us a mail sports this morning at channels tv.com and on Facebook with channels 
hyphen sports you see feedback mechanisms right there for you be part of the program questions comments suggestions we want you to get involved we love it whenever you're part of the show and i also love whenever tell salam joins me on the program tell good to have you on the show yeah good mm. morning austin yeah yeah so we're, we're taking a look at um all of these um well, 1-1 one, one for the Super Falcons in their first leg. Yes. Goalless for Coach Samson, Celsius and his team. But it's yeah. the Super Falcons that will play um, Mali yes. on Friday. Yes. That's a new psychologist. Good one. Uh, yeah, good one, Austin. 1-1, um, one, one, um, like you said, 1-1 one, one for the Falcons mm. away from home. So you expect them ordinarily to yeah. come back home and, you know, mm. and do the business. And, but for, for, the, for Celsius and the boys, it, it's a tight uh, rope uh, they're working. But then uh, going back to the Falcons, uh, as regards uh, the psychologist, uh, yeah. I think is a very uh, laudable uh, one. Because uh, in modern sports now, the, the importance of psychology cannot really be overemphasized. It is very key. Uh, I, I know a lot of uh, top athletes around the world uh, employ uh, the services of um, psychologists. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, it's a very good one for for uh, the Super Falcons. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, the kind of um, psychological techniques yeah. uh, she's going to bring uh, mm. to the table uh, mm. for the Falcons. And that's all right there. Mm. Kasha Boto yeah. um, also played for the Super Falcons, not for a long time, but uh, she knows one or two things about football. Definitely, no doubt about that. She's um, She's got experience as well to on her side. So I'm looking forward to seeing what she's going to do uh, with, the, with the Super Falcons. And, uh, and I know there's several uh, psychological um, techniques that these um, guys, uh, you know, employ uh, when, when, they, when they're doing their thing. And uh, yeah, I, it's a very interesting one. I, mm. I want to see how it's going to impact mm. uh, on the Super Falcons. I know mm. there's, um, there's this um, visualization technique as well that is there, that is there too. I want to see how it will help the Super Falcons, you know, uh, step up their game, yeah. especially when they're playing the very top teams in the world. Yeah, the that's, where, where there's, okay? that's the way your mental strength comes Exactly, in. that's yeah. where I was going also, especially when you're playing those top teams where there's likely to be a mental block yeah. when you see a superstar mm. um, across you and you're thinking to yourself, <laughs> okay, how am I supposed to handle this? And, yeah, very good. and so um, it's a very interesting mm. one, really, yeah? Um, uh, Really good because sometimes the game gets out of the hands of the coach, gets out of the hands of the tacticians, the strategies, yes. and then you look around and say, call in a psychologist. So yeah. good one for the Super Falcons. Big ups to the Nigerian Football Federation for thinking in that light. Um, and we hope that all the uh, national teams will also have um, such services. Talking about such services at this time, Tyro, yes. the Dream Team 6, they don't just need Coach Samson, Siasia, they also need a sound psychologist <laughs> to get them ready for Lusaka on Sunday. Incredible, Austin. Mm. Especially when you listen to the way the Zambian coach has been talking. She said no way to come. <laughs> they forget it, guys. And that, that kind of, story, that kind, that kind of, um, mm. that kind of um, comments can actually affect you, can actually affect your morale. You yeah. know, you're good at, like this guy's saying, don't bother turning up to, mm. uh, no to, to Lusaka and all that. But then... Uh, we have to admit here, Austin, that it's a very, it, it's an uphill task. Mm. You know, we had the opportunity when we were playing them at home, you know, to get the results. We didn't do that. Yeah. Now we're going to have to do it the hard way in, in Lusaka. It's going to be very tough, Austin, mm. believe me. Mm. Uh, the Zambians are a decent side, you know, a decent side. When they came to Nigeria a couple of weeks ago, they showed the stuff they made exactly. up. And mm. now they're going back to play in front of their own fans. I expect them to want to, you know, to consolidate and qualify for the All African Games. But Nigeria has got a solid side as well too, and and it's still nil nil. So basically, it's half time. It's still all to play for, and there's a chance on the the, the Olympic Eagles. That's what I like to call them. Mm. I don't see, I don't see anything dreamy about this um this um uh, Olympic uh, side at all. So they have a chance, but then it's going to be very tough for them. Yeah, a brilliant task I've called it for Coach Samson Siasia and the Dream Team Six. Uh, not a good one. After playing goalless in Abuja, yes. they need to go to Zambia. Uh, they should be leaving tomorrow and then tie on Sunday they will play. Uh, but um, let's just quote what um, Zambian coach Fiktin Simukanda. He says it's almost mission impossible for, yeah, the, but, for the Nigerian team. Yeah, like that's according to him. Mm. Right? But, also, but what, what we do here as sportsmen, we always like to say impossible is nothing. Yep. Yeah, you can actually... It's football. Yeah, anything. Absolutely, anything can happen. Uh -huh. And um, uh, uh, hopefully uh, the, 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 the Olympic side, mm. they're well uh, prepared uh, for this game. Mm. Yeah, make no mistake about it, it's going to be very, very, very tough for them. Mm. 
I'm sure Coach Thompson says yeah, just giving everything he wants to be talking on the field of play. So uh, we're not hearing much from the yes. from the camp of the dream team. That's because they really understand the importance of this game. Yeah, no doubt. They can't afford really not to uh, to qualify uh, for the All African Games. I'm talking of the team and I'm talking of the coach himself. Mm. Yes, I remember he didn't have a good time the last time he he, he, he was coach of the Super Eagles. Really now he's back now. I, I don't want. I, it's going to be. The, it's, go, it's not going to be good uh, for for him if he doesn't qualify in Nigeria mm. uh, for the All African Games. So I'm sure the pressure is on him already. Uh, but I just want to say something before we move on from this, Austin. Perhaps the inclusion of those um, super flying eagles and oh, guys hey. into the team, mm. who knows the mm. kind of effect mm. it's going to have on the team. Obviously, they're coming with a winning, uh, with a winning mentality, mentality. already. Yeah. Hopefully, that rubs on very well on the team. And, you know, Musa Mohamed and the likes, you know, hopefully they go to Zambia mm. and do a good job. But it's going to be very hard. They have to start the game very well because when you're playing a, an away game like that, you have to, it's very important to start very well so you can take the crowd out of it. Because if you don't start well enough and the crowd gets into it, and it becomes really, uh, really difficult for you to get into the game. So, um, um, good luck to the uh, Olympic uh, Eagles. Uh, they will need a lot of luck, believe me. Okay, that's it. Let's talk about the big boys now. I'm tired. We'll get ready for the 2017 African Cup of Nations. And then, whenever I talk about the Super Eagles, I cannot but start asking questions. So, I will not ask questions yeah, this no questions morning. Today. Um, today, CAF will announce the host for the 2017 African Cup of Nations. And we're also now opponents for the qualifiers. This is April. It will yeah. start in June. No work yet for the Super Eagles. Yeah, no, no coach. Mm. No coach, which is, which is, which is a shame. And uh, it just shows we've not really, they've not really learned anything from what happened uh, the last time. The experience of last time around where we didn't qualify uh, for the Nations Cup as defending champions is still fresh in our memories and it's still fresh in their own memories as well. So mm. it's, 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 it's a little strange to see the way they're going about uh, this whole um, getting a national team uh, manager. Finally, it's getting to a point where it's totally uh, ludicrous and I, I really don't know what's going on there. But like I said, today we'll find out. Yeah. And we'll, we'll, they, those guys are not waiting for us. Mm. They're ready to roll. Yeah. They're not waiting. We'll find out the opponents and arrivals today. And, you know, uh, and it's kickoff time. Yeah, that's it. So that's the update. Uh, we'll wait uh, for FIFA to announce the host for the Nations Cup and then uh, know the opponents for the Super Eagles. Maybe when we find out that on the Nigerian Football Federation, we get to work, we'll see everything that is needed to get a coach for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Sports this morning on Channel Television, we've been getting those messages. Keep them coming. Questions, comments, and suggestions. But now let's go on a quick break. Get a breather. When we come back, we'll talk about Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy. Remember Tiger Woods? They are not yet out of the woods. Uh, because of course he may be struggling with his play injuries and all but then age is not also on his side he has tipped Rory McIlroy to do big things in golf we'll also talk about the English Premier League Manny Parker and Floyd Mayweather Jr. don't go anywhere right back stay